Hello guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing some bunching here on the forestry mode. Uh, I should pick up the tree. Yeah, there we go. And then we're just going to put them in a pile right there. Um, we're only picking some of the trees that are dead. Um, for a contract of $30,000. Don't know why the, I shouldn't have done that, but oh well. I just did it again. Come on. Cut the tree. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is the forestry of the game. Um, there's farming, forestry, and mining uh, that I've been trying out. Uh, this is the medium setup. Um, I have currently just been going around here just cutting trees out. Um, it is currently nighttime, as you can tell. Um, yeah, these joysticks work, uh, work well. And this for the logging. Uh, we'll just nudge that a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, let's cut that down a little. That's weird. Yeah, some of these stumps are a bit big. That was out of nowhere. Cut. All right, drop that one here. Okay, that was weird. Those there, yeah. That was weird. That was actually really weird. Um. All right. That was two. just pretend that didn't happen um, okay now well, let's go on this side of the tree I know that wasn't realistic at all um, these are currently some logging stuff that's in the game and they're still trying to fix it so I did say though their physics may not be on point but the machinery is on point machinery is good um, but there is some bugs eh, that might be fixed in the next patch possibly In the older game, there was logging and farming. Um, it wasn't near as bad as this with the physics. The uh, physics were a lot better in the old one, though. Um, that was in the newest video on the new map, Medicine Creek, that came out. You know, kind of wish I could play some music in here, but I'm afraid to get copyright striked. Start a new pile right here. Alright, you're going to get moved back here. I did turn down the sensitivity of the uh, joysticks a little bit so they're more low flow uh, and they seem to work better um, yeah they 
seem to work better. I know this is going to get quite boring just watching me cut trees, but. Uh, that's pretty much logging. You cut trees, you process them a little down to a certain group, like grade of timber, then you sort them. Which you don't really have to do. Eh, well, I reach that tree. No. I can't reach that. Can I reach this one? Barely. But now it's gonna go tumbling down that way. Oh, well, never mind. I grabbed it. Like, somehow. But, oh well. At least got it. It's gonna be shorter. But um, what else? Oh, hello, hello there, tree. Nice to meet you. My name is my name is Buncher. Meow. Grab, grab, grab. It's just like the claw game. Grab trees instead of toys, it's trees. That was very unrealistic, but oh well. That was two. Come on, seriously. Screw it, just lay it right there. Um, yeah, so this is the buncher here. You can be, you can run. Um, yeah, this is, we are in Canada. I'm just kidding, Canada. Um, this is our processor. It's the same as the buncher, but you can choose whatever you want to use. Like these, you can choose and all that. You can see this is a used machine. Um, it's been used quite a bit. This is our log loader. Um, it's a higher cab. It's a high cab. So you'll be able to see where you're putting stuff at. Um, right here is our dozer forward slash. Well, this could. Well, this holds. So what I use this for is for the yarder, which will. So if you're up on a hill and there's trees that go down a giant steep slope, like for example, that slope, which yes, there are trees up there you just want to load in. That's a full moon thing. Um, but I use this. I put. I brace it against like a rock, like a giant rock or something along the lines. And then I take this out, I re I take it out, I push, I connect it to the yarder. This I can take off. But I hook this up to the yarder and then that'll keep the yarder from falling over. Um, these are from where we were bunching over there. Um, what else here? I could show you guys all the machinery available. Um, you do have these, which these are for cut the length, but this is majority for the American market. Um, that's for cut the length. Um, this is for your like long logs. This is for long logs. Uh, you have a sawmill you can place, long logs, like stuff. Like a majority of these, you can put on whatever attachment you want. Um, but, yeah. This fork is one of the bigger forks, um, which you can put on the wheel loader. Which, you know, this stuff here, this is one of the new skitters. Um, this is a skitter I'm actually gonna buy. Oh. Nah. No, whoa, hello. That, that, uh, looks better. 
Yeah, I can put more diesel in here. These look better, but I think those look good. I can black it out if I want. Oh, that makes that black too. Yeah, I like it like that. I'll buy that later. Uh, I do have a different loader here. Um, this is one of my favorite cabs. It's very visible, as you can tell. You can view a whole lot out of it. Um, but this is one of the cabs. There is one that my buddy's making where it's a uh, two grabs instead of four. This is called a button top loader for the long logs, like they're 12 meters uh, or 12 meters in length of logs. You use these on. For like six meters, you use these. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Subscribe and like this video.